The Invisible Enemy is an episode of the original The Outer Limits television show. It first aired on October 31, 1964, during the series' second season. In the vast immensities of cosmic space, bold adventurers streak their way to join battle with strange enemies on strange worlds. The alien, the unknown, perhaps even the invisible, armed only with man's earthbound knowledge. Two astronauts on the M1 spaceship land on Mars in the year 2021. When one goes out to explore, he is heard screaming, and his last transmission indicates that he had no idea what was happening to him. When the second astronaut goes out to investigate, he too makes a similar transmission. Three years later, a second mission, M2, lands with a crew of four consisting of Major Merritt, Captains Buckley and Lazari, and Lieutenant Johnson. They are tasked both to explore and to determine what happened to the M1. When Captain Lazari is sent to explore the ruins of the M1, he goes behind the ship to examine it and screams in unbearable agony, just like the previous crew. Captain Buckley and Lieutenant Johnson go to investigate and Buckley finds only bloodstains. Johnson, armed with a nuclear bazooka, wanders off and disappears. The two remaining crew are ordered to stay within the confines of the ship in the last hours before takeoff. However, Captain Buckley has a vision wherein the planet's deserts appear as sand-filled oceans. He then slips out to examine these oceans. While exiting the ship, he cuts his hand. He rubs the blood onto a scrap of cloth and throws it out into the desert. He learns that a sand beast, a crustacean-like animal that swims through the sands like a shark, is at fault for the deaths. Major Merritt, the leader of the expedition, was asleep when Captain Buckley exited but goes out to find him and becomes trapped on a rock when the sand beast pursues him. With 10 minutes left until takeoff, Captain Buckley creates a distraction by running across the sands. This allows both Merritt and Buckley to reach the shore unharmed. They shoot the sand beast using the nuclear bazooka Johnson left behind when he was killed. The fatally wounded sand beast submerges beneath the surface, but five other sand beasts, drawn by the noise and blood of their dying kin, soon emerge. The two remaining astronauts realize there's a whole army of them. Major Merritt and Captain Buckley communicate with Control on Earth that they are coming home. Battle joined. Casualties, yes. Resolution, victory of a sort. A painful step from the crib of destiny. On another day, a friend perhaps, instead of a deadly peril. Part of the saga of the space pioneers. So check out this classic Outer Limits episode on DVD, Blu-ray, or streaming, and I'll see you in the next exciting video.